Let's look at finding an average. Alright, for this problem I'm giving three heights as to how tall these people are. Sam's 42 inches tall, Lonnie is 38 inches tall, and Dean is 43 inches tall. And one of the numbers that I might be able to find to describe this data is called a mean or an average. So if you hear the word average and find me the average height of these three people, that's also called the mean or the arithmetic mean, but we're figuring out a number that could represent um, that's pretty close to all three of their numbers. And if we looked at all three of those numbers, if we put them on a number line, we kind of think about it. Okay, so our average is not going to be as high as 42, because if we set our average as 42, and this doesn't really quite make sense because it's not going to be as high as the biggest person. It's not going to be as low as the smallest person. And then so if you had 38, 42, and we also had 43, and 43 is actually the highest. We have some a number that'll be our average, and it'll be somewhere in between 38 and 43, and it'll probably be closer to right around here or so. Won't be right halfway in between 38 and 43, because this 42 will actually end up pulling up our average, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Our steps to be able to solve this problem is we add them first, and then so we add all of those heights together first. So our first step is to add all of those heights. We have 42, 38, and 43. And again, we said we need to add them. Start with the ones place. 2 plus 8 plus 3 is 13. 3, regroup the 1. And 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 1 more is 12. So I have 123 as that sum. What I do at that point is I take this 123, and I'm going to end up dividing. So I add first, and then I divide. I divide that 123, and I'm dividing it by the number of things that I'm averaging. And since I have three heights here, that's why my divisor is 3. Again, this divisor is 3 because I am averaging 3 heights. If I had it 5 people that I was averaging the heights for, then my divisor would be 5. And again, I got the 123 by adding all of those heights together. Doing my work, I'll end up getting 41 as my answer there. And so I call 41 my average and my average height for those um, people. If I look back at my number line, okay, so my this right here, which was the average, would be 41. Would be 41. There are my three heights again. And I, when I worked with those three heights, I figured out my average, and I figured out my average was 41. I averaged those three, and remember my average was 41. What would happen to my average height if I put one more person into my group here and that person happened to be Joe and Joe happened to be 60 inches tall? What would happen to my average? The average would go up. It would go, it would be even higher. If I added another person and that person there was um, Tammy, and Tammy happened to be 32 inches tall, what would happen to that average? Their average height then would go down. How many people am I averaging now? Five. I would have to add all these heights together first, and then divide by five, and then divide by five to figure out the average height of all five of those people. If I was figuring out the average score on two tests, and on the first test I had scored an 82, and on the second test I had scored a 78, what would the average be? What do I have to do with those two numbers first? Right, I have to add them together first. After I add them together, I take my sum, what it is that I added together, and I divide by what? Did you say I divide by 2? Hope so. 2 cannot go into 1, but 2 goes into 16 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 minus 16 is 0. Bring down the 0, place the 0 there, because 0 divided by 2 is 0, and 0 times 2 is 0, and 0 minus 0 is still 0. So our average score is 80. 
This makes sense as halfway in between 78 and 82 is 80. And I was just averaging two numbers together, so it makes sense that that average is right there, right in the middle there. And that'd be an average score on the test. That's how you average. Again, first you add, and then you divide. And you're dividing by the number of items that you are averaging. Since there were only two tests, that's why we divided by two. And just averaging, another word for mean, is just one of those ways that we can describe those numbers there. It's your turn to try. Go ahead and find the average of 27, 38, and 52. Remember to go ahead and add all those numbers together first, and then we're going to divide by the number of numbers that we have there. You go ahead and try. Hit pause. 7 plus 8 plus 2 is 17. 7, regroup the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 3 is 6. Plus 5 is 11. So I have 117. I'm going to go ahead and set up a division problem now of 117. And since there is 1, 2, 3 numbers there that I am averaging, I divide by 3. 3 cannot go into 1, 3 can go into 11, 3 whole times, because 3 times 3 is 9, 11 minus 9 is 2, I bring down the 7, and 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 minus 27 is 0. 39 is the average. 39 is the average. All right, I have one hint to give you and then a review. When you are averaging numbers for a test, you will not, most often will not, come up with a remainder, with a remainder. And then so after you divide, if you ever come up with a remainder, you know that you probably did something wrong. You probably did something wrong. In real life, you might end up with a remainder or you'd have to express it as a fraction or a mixed number. But on a test, if you ever end up with the remainder, you probably did something wrong in your addition step or in your division step. Now, if we were to ask to average all these numbers here, what would we do with those numbers first? Right, we would add them. I'm going to add them from left to right so I have enough room to work my problem here. And in doing so, I'll add two numbers at a time. 30 plus 24 is 54. 53 plus 33 is... 86, and adding those together is um, 140. Now I'm going to take that 140 and do what? Divide, right. And what am I dividing by? 4, because there are 4 numbers that I'm aver averaging. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I guess what you could have done is that you could have chosen the wrong divisor, and that's a way that you could have gotten this problem wrong. 14 divided by 4, 3 there. 3 times 4 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2, and I bring down the 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 minus 20 is 0. Again, if you ever ended up with the remainder here, you probably did something wrong. Maybe you divided by the wrong number, or maybe you added those numbers incorrectly. What is our average, then, for all of these numbers? 35. It makes sense. It should not be as low as 24. It should not be as high as 53. It should be somewhere in between those groups of numbers. And even if you notice here, 30 and 33 were so close together, that's why it makes sense that we have 35 as our average. 53 is actually giving some to the 24, the 30, and the 33. 53 brought up our average, whereas 24 brought our average down more than the 30 and 33 did. That's averaging for you.